the Kingdom of Mali, Riches and Power. Exploring the Kingdom of Mali. Mali was a medieval West African kingdom that prospered from the 13th to the 16th century, known for its wealth and trading power. Under the rule of Mansa Musa, Mali became one of the most prominent African kingdoms in history. People had political power, with the kingdom divided into provinces, each with its own rulers and leaders. Islam became the main religion. The study of the Quran was one of the university's main subjects. Education was important, and the people were encouraged to study subjects such as mathematics, engineering, astronomy, and many more. Capital cities such as Timbuktu and Gao developed, making Mali a powerful civilization. Agriculture was encouraged, especially in crops such as cotton, sugar, and cola beans. Trade increased. Timbuktu became a hub for West African trade. Gold, salt, and copper were traded for items such as silk, fabrics, beads, and ceramics. After gold and salt lost their value, slaves became one of the main trading commodities between Africa and other continents. The Kingdom of Mali traded with countries such as Europe, Saudi Arabia, India, and Asia. While gold was used as the main source of wealth, salt was extremely scarce, and one load could easily be sold for 80 ducats. Books had great value and were sold with higher profits than any other item. During his pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca, Mansa Musa made sure to follow the laws of Islam. He gave gold freely to those in need, as well as to each place he stopped on Fridays, making sure they had enough gold to build mosques. Did you know? Mansa Musa spent so much gold on his journey, he had to borrow from others in order to return home. On his return from Mecca, Mansa Musa brought with him scholars, architects, merchants, builders, and others to help him better his empire. With their help, Mansa Musa was able to build over 180 new buildings. Among those were schools, libraries, and mosques. The Great Mosque of Timbuktu was built using wood reinforcement, making the structure strong enough to still stand today. Sankore University was one of two major universities, a learning center for many of Mali's people. The Empire of Mali and all its towns were placed on the world map in the 14th century, making it an integral part of African history and one of the most influential kingdoms in the world. The university in Timbuktu houses over 300,000 manuscripts containing the entirety of Mali's history. It was declared a World Heritage Site in 1977 